<laughs> my hands are frozen. <laughs> Let's see. Let's look at the blouses. This is kind of interesting, but there's spots on it. Ooh, show it off. Ooh, the tie. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that'll be nice for layering. Like I keep eyeing the sweaters this morning, and I think it's because I'm cold. <laughs> and it's cold. I don't know. Sacramento just doesn't know how to weather. Do a bro tall. My, uh, my thing was like, if I find something in the first 20 minutes, and that includes purchase, so. Ooh, that yeah. fall one. Yeah, and that I have so plenty cool. of like seasonal ones, but this one was different. That's so cool. I was like, it's different enough. And then I could tell it was vintage because it's a V. Like the oh, v yeah. Thing. Yeah, sorry, my hands are so cold. <laughs> I'm trying to like appropriately model these. Okay. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Little old Hollywood couple. I just watched um, Singing in the Rain, and I forgot how much I freaking love that movie. Uh oh. Man down. Man down. Literally. <laughs> okay. And then, you know, I love a good equestrian vibe. Oh, yeah. Vibe. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure it's focused. There we go. Ooh. Yeah. And then I have one for Valentine's Day, but this one specifically is like, you know, a little box of like chocolate. Oh, that's so cute. That was really cute. Nice. And then this one I think is like handmade. It's like Victorian themed. Ooh, that is very I like. It's a trip, right? That is so cool. I'm like, that's awesome. Like academia, yeah. cottage core, all of that. We'll, we'll, we'll convert okay, you to cottage core yet. Yeah, I know. There's a, there's so much there's so much similarity. Ellie, I'm I, I gotta lean cottage core. It's just fun. Yeah, we could do cottage core, make it 40s. Well, you know yeah. what's her name, Miss. Uh, she's, well, Miss Fruitcake. Yeah, she's, she, she's pretty good at that. Too. Yeah. She did an 80s as 40s dress that was her granny's and put a stays on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I was like, because she does her hair in like the pin curls, but she also yeah. does Hobbit core and yeah. yeah. So I'm like, I, I I've been telling her. I was like, you've been inspiring me. Love it. I love this. This is so cool. Denim, here. Denim. <laughs> For you. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> These are so cute. I love that yellow picnic-y one. Yes. So cottage core. It's just too big yeah. for either of us, but any uh, plus size babes could totally yeah. sweep that up. Oh, uh, they're all like 16. Yeah. Uh, so when people say you can't buy vintage for plus size, um, and it's $25. Totally. It's heck of cute. Heck of cute. You can totally find, especially in the 80s, like, yes. things got a lot, a lot more size inclusive then. And they also introduced elastic waists, which we all love. That's cute. That'd be a good uh, pinafore dress. Ooh, look at that. There's a plaid one in there. It's like a Yeah, look. Yeah. And it's, yeah. You can tie it smaller, but it's totally. I wonder if they have it organized by size. It also my button. Yeah, that's pretty good.
like this for you, but maybe... It's a little too busy. Yeah. It's like there was less red. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, whatever, oh no, that's like super red. Something about when it's like a lot of primary colors. Yeah. Reminds me of Rachel Maxey. Yeah. Yeah, but um, the um, the uh, where do we go? What is it called? Not the big way antique hall. What was the name of the antique hall? I don't. Stardust. Oh yeah. Stardust Vintage Emporium is pretty cool. They had like um, a shelf with uranium glass on it. See, that bottle is almost perfect, but it's blue, and I don't do blue. Yeah. I just went clear. Yeah. Ooh, fabric. Clumsy, I always end up knocking stuff over or dropping it. I think, yeah, we, we spent a lot of time at this one with, um, I think, Sammy and... I'm like tempted by this gingham shirt dress. Very tempted. I kind of want it. Oh yeah. But there's just something about like classically 1970s patchwork. Yeah. That it's just I don't know. Like I appreciate it and I love it, but like it's not for me. But I I you appreciate it, right? I it's like you take it. a moment to appreciate the yeah. thing you're not gonna buy. Just, the patchwork. It's just so. I love it. So pretty. Should I get more nightgowns? This one's very similar to the one I got at the other place, but it, the one underneath, the one, yeah, the, the dress underneath is a tank top. I love this one. 
Yeah. You're coming home with me. 14. This one is 23. Oh, this robe. 24. You gotta come over here. She's like, what do you mean? Like, you know it was somebody. Oh, you know, so that is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Yes. And then, and then I'm, I definitely need this one. Yeah. <laughs> Material girl, it's so good. I love it so much, the collar. I just, we need to have a, a yeah, collar moment. To. A collar moment and then the, the trim. So good. Oh, they do? Perfect. Oh, I've seen. It's cute. Everybody say goodbye, Sarah. Goodbye, Sarah. <laughs> oh, that works because I'm a Sarah too. Tell your Nana I said goodbye too. <laughs> yeah, so that was fun. We got some good stuff and I almost lost my camera. As per my usual self, I set it down when I was paying for something and I forgot it on the table. Luckily the vendor found it and he set it aside so then me and Sarah had to retrace her steps and I had to go find it. I was pretty sure it was that vendor because that was the last place I pulled out my wallet and I was like, I'm pretty sure I set it down there. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys what I got in the next slide. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do a haul. And welcome back. We are going to haul the things that I picked up at the antique fair. I really hope you guys enjoyed that little, <gasps> my phone just fell. It's okay, it's on carpet. Let's go ahead and haul the things that I picked up at the antique fair this month with Miss Sarah Jones, who is like my shopping buddy at the antique fair. And of course we ran into Phoebe while we were there. So the first thing that I was on the hunt for when I was there, because right now I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful when I'm shopping, is a little aesthetic little bottle, specifically that kind of resembles a decanter, but smaller. And I believe these types of bottles are actually perfume bottles, but not the type that spray, but you just like, I don't know. I don't. I, every time I look them up online, they're marked as bottles for perfume. But I was looking for a bottle like that because my friend stores her antidepressants in a little bottle like that, and it is so cute. I, I took a little video of it, and I was gonna post it on TikTok with her permission, saying like, "Romanticize your life, depression edition." And obviously, if you have kids or other people in the house, this isn't really a smart thing to do because the childproof top of the the bottle is very much needed. But she lives alone, and we don't have any kids in our household, so I. I was looking for something like that to kind of store my medication in to make it a little bit more special, if you know what I mean. I thought it was just adorable, you know? So I did end up finding one. We honestly walked around so long and I was looking at different places. There was one booth that had a bunch of them, but they were like $20 each and that was not in my budget. I did not want to spend that much on a little tiny bottle. I managed to find one though at, like, cause usually at these places, the junkier the table, the better. The more curated, the more expensive they are. You can find a junkie table, looks like they just threw all the crap on the table. It's going to be cheap and usually they're not opposed to haggling. So this is the bottle that I found. And it's super cute. The only problem is it's a little narrow, which I definitely can fit the medication in here. And it looks like a little jug, honestly, with like, but kind of extra. So but just for at home though, like on my vanity. So I remember to take it. It would be cute to stick it. Put that in here. And then I'll show you the one I got for my, I have clinical depression medication. It's this little bottle right here. And it does kind of smell like perfume. So I think barely make out there's an Avon label on there. Oh yeah, I can see it embossed. Yeah, it smells like, per like very, very strong of perfume. So I'm probably gonna let this soak in some sort of, I don't know, Dawn dish soap or something to get the smell out. Cause I don't wanna be taking my meds and perfume or I don't know what it, perfume's made of to poison me or something, but I'm definitely gonna clean this very, very well. And then put my little, my little Zoloft in here. 
Now, those weren't actually the first things that I found. Um, I just wanted to kind of get those things out of the way. The next place that we, well, the, the first place that we went, we met at the $6 booth, which I mentioned this in a previous video. It's this massive booth where everything is $6. And this time they were actually there. Last time, I guess they weren't there, but I got there like at eight. I meant to get there at 6.30 at opening, but I dragged my feet. Sarah got there first, but she did shop for me and pick out some things for me before I got there, which was very, very nice of her. And I'll show you guys what she picked out and then the additional things that I bought at this booth. So a few of these items are actually not for me. She picked these out for me because I had kind of talked about doing like a cottage core or hobbit core drop either on my Depop. But if not, I actually was thinking about just making my own website and my own shop at some point because since my socials are starting to grow and she picked up some hobbit vests for me that I can sell. And this one is probably a little bit too big for me and it's not really a color that I like for vests, but it's this green corduroy vest. The back is kind of like not really hobbity. It's like paisley, very 70s. And this is a vintage Gap, I believe. I don't know if it, how vintage it is. It could just be from the 90s, but. And then the next one is a Karen Scott 2X. So, you know, trying to stock plus sizes in this drop as well. And this is such a gorgeous tapestry waistcoat. It has a tie in the back, which I don't know if I'm showing it. Editing me will know. And it's just, it's really cool. And it has these buttons that are, here, I'll show them. So cool. If this was my size, I would be rocking this, but I will definitely put this up so I can have some size inclusivity on my drop. The next one is a little more cottage core than Hobbit, but it's another waistcoat and it has like some glittery details. Um, they're like little mirror pieces and then there's some like silver embroidery thread with the embroidery and it's just so pretty. And this one is a large, I think I'll have to measure it, but it has the top, like the tie tie in the back. Well, I, I will announce both on here and on all my socials when I do a drop and where I decided, where I decide to do the drop. And then next, I haven't tried any of these items on, so I'm going to be splicing in some try on clips. So I'll know then if it fits or not, but she found this gorgeous floral skirt for me. It's midi length, has pleating, and the brand is Charter Club. And it's just really cute, very cottage core. And I feel like it could be used for different seasons as well, depending on what colors you pair with it. It's springy, but it could also be autumnal if styled accordingly. I feel like everything from this booth she picked out, actually. I didn't actually find anything for myself. She, she did all my shopping. She's my personal shopper. Because she also found me this gray warm toned it's like a warm toned gray tweed skirt and it has some brown button details on it and it has pockets although one of the pockets it's fake because it's one of those like like it opens it's one of those that you secure on the side and then you have like the fake pocket. i've had a skirt like that before and i think the other skirt is like that as well but it's really cute very dark academia that's why she picked it out for me so i can do some dark academia lookbooks when winter and fall come around i have so many winter and fall clothes set aside I'm excited. That's you guys think I'm really popping off with the spring style. Wait until autumn winter me comes out. It's gonna be great. Like I, I really got my start this last autumn. Like that's when I started taking content creation seriously and I really started to go full force. It's my favorite season anyway, autumn. Like orange tones are just like my favorite. So I'm really excited to go ham on fall again this, this year and really see how much I've improved because I think my content has really, really improved since then. Like, if you don't believe me, go back to my content in autumn of 2021. Like, it's good, but it could be better. And our photography skills are getting better because my husband helps me take my self-portraits and I do all the editing and the composing and all that. I just can't wait to see what we create, you know? It's gonna be be so fun. I mean, I'm excited for now, but we're kind of going into summer and summer is really where I struggle because I have issues with temperature. I, I, I hate extremes. I like spring and I like fall because it's that like middle ground. So we'll see. I'm, I'm excited to see what we're going to create this year, as I said. And okay, next, that's enough babbling. Let's go to the next thing because the next thing is so cute. Again, Sarah found this, although I think if I remember correctly, she saw it, thought of me, and then I saw it and was like, oh my God, that's so cute. And she was like, oh yeah, I saw that was gonna show you. Or maybe it didn't happen like that. I don't know, I have a bad memory. But it's this cute grandma course sweater with little duckies or geese all along here. Oh, so cute. It is an Eddie Bauer sweater. Again, everything from this booth is $6 and this is definitely worth the $6. And then the last 
thing from that booth again. Actually, Sarah accidentally bought this for me. She forgot that she had it in her, her hand. Is this kind of tan, but creamy. Not really tan, not really cream. Kind of somewhere in, in the middle. 80s blouse, because she knows how much of I, yeah, she knows how much I love a good flowy blouse. And it's got the pleating all over it. And it's got a waistband, but I'm just gonna be tucking it into a skirt or pants anyway and probably putting a waistcoat over it or a corset. So that doesn't matter. I just like that it has the tie bow or tie neck detail. That's what I always go for. At the same booth that I got the tall little bottle, which by the way, I think was like two or three dollars. I got this 70s sheet set. They actually were selling the pillowcases and the sheets separate, which I thought was kind of like, why are you separating the set? I, I still, I, and I'm glad I saw it because I almost just bought the sheets thinking the pillowcases were already in there, but no. Um, and I'm actually not buying it to be sheets. I actually want to make like a Selkie inspired dress with this because I thought the fabric, I thought the fabric was perfect for that. And I think I saw someone else with a similar pattern to this that was going to make it out. I think it was, I'm terrible with remembering usernames. Uh, fancy dinosaur tea party. I will correct myself if I'm wrong in the editing. But I, I think she had a similar pattern that she was going to make a dress out of and then she ended up not but I saw this. I did think of her, but I also thought like this would be perfect for a Selkie inspired dress. I think I'm gonna make a French puff dress. Like, you know, the one with the, the panel on the bottom, the ruffle. Or if I have enough fabric, maybe the Renaissance girl. Cause I don't think I have, I, I don't think I have enough fabric for a Ritz dress. We'll see. I know next to nothing about sewing. I have a sewing machine, yes, but I don't know anything about sewing. So I'll probably buy a pattern. If I don't have enough fabric for the French puff, I'll just make a regular puff. Cause I do want it to be very, very voluminous. And I already have some fabric I believe I can use for the underlayer to like puff it out where I could just use a petticoat. Just um, pillowcases were five, actual sheets were 10, so this was 15, and then and Sarah tried to get me to haggle, but I have social anxiety, so I didn't haggle, I just gave her the money. I did haggle for that little, the Avon bottle, a little bit, because I, I was running out of cash and I needed to like, cool it. Last but certainly not least, you guys saw the clip of me and Sarah trying on robes. So I did get the robe. So her and I both have little baby blue robes now and it's so cute. This one's a large, but I'm going to just like cinch it. And it has a tie, which is somewhere on the floor. It fell. It's so precious. Collar, the embroidery on the, the button side or the button, not the button, but you know, the in, inside, the, the snappy, the snappy bit, the, the, the inny part of the snappy. I don't know terms. Everything there is kind of cheap, but kind of like if you're looking for che dirt cheap, I would haggle, but it's still cheaper than like Etsy or going online, like vintage shops on, on Instagram. So I also got this little nightgown, which I believe might be, I don't know how to date things, but this looks like it's from the sixties. Miss Elaine. And then look at this tag. If it's not sixties, it's at least seventies. And it's very, very cute. Like a baby pink, probably the same color as my skin, but oh well, I'm only going to be wearing this in the house. But yeah, they had so many pretty nightgowns and like robe sets. I had to control myself to not buy like all of them. Like there was a purple one, which you guys probably have seen in the um, shop with me portion, but I wanted to buy everything and I had to like stop myself. So I bought two things, which is in my mind a little bit excessive, but you know, treat yourself. Alrighty, so thus concludes that haul. I don't think I'm forgetting anything because I, I don't think I bought that much this time compared to previous times. Yeah, the next antique fair is gonna be, I believe June, June 12th and it's at the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento. I'll, I'll link their website in the description. So if anyone who's local or within the vicinity wants to go next time, you can. It runs from 6.30 a.m. to I believe 3 p.m. every day, mm. not day, the day, every second Sunday. Bring cash. It is like, there's like a $3 entry fee for each adult. It's not a parking fee, it's an entry fee. Well, I'm also gonna link their TikTok as well because I know the person who's helping run the TikTok and they're trying to grow it. They they post a lot of highlights and things on there. It's really cool. And also follow them on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow Sarah on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. Follow all of us. Everything's going to be in the description, guys, as, as per usual. Anything you might want or need will be in the description. And if it's not, just comment. It's, 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 it's as easy as that. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, share, all the things. Love you guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day and remember to go out and thrift and shop and buy things that are cool and just be you. I'm, 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 I'm trying out a new outro. Don't, don't judge me. That was really awkward. Bye.